just before half past seven in the morning. The flight from Langkawi to Penang is only about 40 minutes, boards at 10 a.m. And I've ordered a grab and it's just the sat waiting for it. Although packing with less stuff is a lot easier, but I still wish that I had less in weight. So my main bag is now down to about nine and a half kilos. And my other bag, I think is about four and a half, something like that. I would love to get down to one bag of about eight kilos or seven would be great, but eight kilos, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna do it. <laughs> While I'm traveling to the airport, I will put a little clip in here of me packing up. Wow, this is everything that I own. I have this time taken everything out of every bag and I thought I'd downsize. I have got so much stuff. Here we go, packing up again. I can't believe how quickly a month has gone. That's how long I've been in my little apartment. I'm gonna really, really miss it. Oh, okay. The key drop box isn't closed, so I'll just leave my key in there. Look. Let's close it up. There you go. Well, I've made it to the airport. It is just gone 9 a.m. and I'm sat at the gate. And I just have an hour and a half before we go. I have had the best five weeks ever on Langkawi. Haven't done too much, but just had a really nice time relaxing. Hope come back soon. quick room tour in my new hostel dorm room. I'm in a female eight bath and this is my little bunk down here. I'm in bed 34. I stayed here last year for two nights and wanted to extend but they book so quickly so if you want to stay here make sure you book in advance. I met up with the people from the hostel and walked along here, down there, and we stopped for dinner, just in that place right there. Come to this little night food market. And we're gonna get a group table for all of us and then we can go around and choose what it is that we want to eat. This is sizzling pork noodle. Oh, it's EZ Hostel is brilliant. Every single night they have something on. Sometimes it's a quiz or Mario nights or beer pong. They also have different things on during the day as well, like walking tours. This morning I decided to go sightseeing alone before meeting the guys for dinner later. I'm going to the top of the tallest building on Penang and it's called The Top. Hopefully today the view will be really, really good. We're going up to level number 65. I think it's going to be a long time in this lift. Although it looks like they're showing me a little movie.
You must be getting quite high now. My ears are popping. Hello. It looks like you can walk around the edge of the building as well. That would be so much fun. But unfortunately, I don't have the right footwear. You have to have closed in shoes and I only have flip flops. We're going up again, up to the highest point. I've decided to treat myself today. So I've come to the top and I've come in the restaurant and I've ordered fish and chips and there's a lunchtime special today. And if you order a meal, you get a starter and a dessert thrown in with the cost. So my meal was 38 ringgit and a bottle of water was eight ringgit. And they've just brought me a mushroom soup to start with. So the next part of this tour is the rainbow bridge which is directly behind me so you just put your little shoe covers on and then you head out over the little rainbow bridge i'm a little nervous my legs are a little wobbly i got so shouted at when i went out on this ledge I got my selfie stick out to go and do a really nice shot for everybody and some woman screamed at me, no selfie sticks. <laughs> yeah. At least I managed to get some really nice shots for you all before I had to run away in case she was gonna take my video footage away. Let's just hope this lucky chair brings me a lot of luck. I've had a lovely afternoon here. It's time to go back down now. After my lovely day at the top, I met back up with the guys from the hostel and we went to the jetty for tea. Afterwards, we walked to the end to watch the sunset. <laughs> 